lot of, I work with a lot of women and mainly women that want to, to move more and feel better when they do. They, they want that freedom of movement. They want to right. feel better. They want to, to be able to enjoy their lives. They want to, you know, do the things that they want to do. Um, I can see prevention just, just simple as that. Just wanted to be more. I see a lot of back pain for some reason. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of people with general back pain because our spine central to all our movement. Imagine that. And then ironically enough, for some reason, I feel, um, God has really sent a lot of people to me with spondylolisthesis and stenosis mm -hmm. over the years. And so I'm really hyper aware of, of, of that. And inflammation is really common. So, I see that in different degrees, right? You can see it with um, things like the itis, arthritis, or whatever it might be that's going on that's out of out of balance, or algas, you know, things like that, um, or just like I said, just you know, not wanting to get to that point. Maybe they've had some people that I've worked with. A lot of them have had something in the past, um, whether it's an injury or surgery or or challenge, or they don't want to face a surgery and they're just looking for another way something mm. different um mm. something um you know i think sometimes we need more than the physical therapy or chiropractic or massage you know something other than just going to the gym yeah yeah i i find oftentimes you know clients come to me and they think it's for one thing and and it kind of is now they might let's say it's lower back pain and they think the reason they're coming to me is to get rid of lower back pain right that's mm -hmm. what they think but actually, when you dig down, the reason they're coming to me is, is not getting rid of the pain. Yeah, it could be. So it could be um, they want to get back to playing sport or it could be they want to get back to being able to pick their kids up from the floor. Yeah. Or or it could be that there's a deeper learning that they need to gain from the pain. Right. What What's also known as the pain teacher. Yeah. Right. So exactly. that was termed that was turned by by. Um, Paul Check, the head of the Czech Institute, that when we have pain, quite often it's it's there to teach us something. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So you know, if you step on a nail, right, it's teaching you to not go any further. Otherwise, you're going to cause yourself damage. If you mm -hmm. put your hand on a hot plate, it's teaching you to get your hand off the hot plate. Right? right. But obviously, it can go it can go a lot deeper than that into quite you know deep deep issues as well, which we may or may not come onto a bit later. Mm -hmm. So, so from what you've said, it's, it's a, there's a lot of kind of back kind of um, issues that you tend to help people with. Yeah, back definitely. I see a lot of that, or or just people that that um, they may have had something in their past, a past injury, like I described, or they don't want to have a surgery. You know, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I do have one client that will remain nameless that has been saying for the last fifteen years that. You know what I've done is keep him off the uh, surgeon's table. Yes, yes, <laughs> and that's a blessing. Yeah, I love to see mm. that. You know, it just it's it just that's what keeps me going. I don't know about you, but it brings me great joy to see somebody not have to do that and know yeah. that there's other ways to go about it. <laughs> yeah, and also obviously you know, talking about surgery, surgery is not without risk. Mm -hmm. Right. There's there's potential problems, even if surgery goes well, there's, you know, there's going to be scar tissue, not just on the surface, but actually internally as well. You know, so it's it's not a, that's a you know, it's not a decision to be taken lightly. And my view always is do everything you can. Before you take that decision, yeah, know, because there are, as you said, there are lots of other options that people can do. And generally they won't leave you with the potential side effects that surgery might do, you know. You know, I've I've certainly found that people that come to me with back pain but have already had back surgery are much more of a difficult challenge for me to help than people that come to me that have never had surgery. Mm -hmm. I can see that, but I can definitely can see how that that can be. You know, I think it yeah. can work both ways sometimes too. But yeah, I think that the underlying thing there is fear. We either mm. direction we're working on at the angle of of. I mean, what, what would you say? <laughs> well, I mean, what I've what I've seen in my own experience, particularly talking about back pain, is, you know, someone's had surgery and it hasn't given them any improvement. 
<laughs> at all. You know, it might have been a discectomy, so they've, you know, they might have removed part of the disc, or, you know, they've gone in and done something, but now they've got all that scar tissue. Whereas if they'd have come to me in the first place, now I'm dealing with a body that doesn't have scar tissue or any kind of damage done to it, you know, it's trauma. Mm -hmm. I find it's much easier. I mean, obviously, if someone's got, you know, a herniated disc, there's, tra there's trauma, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a natural trauma if you put it that way whereas a scalpel is not a natural trauma to the human body yeah and i think that um that also there's more limitations in a different way and we have to work with that whereas before there may have been more freedom of movement i find hmm. um as well so um and it's getting comfortable with your body again after the surgery has happened because you know that it's not the same it's mm. different and having to adjust to what that means right yeah yeah i mean i i can i can't uh sympathize with people that have had surgery but i've herniated my l45 and my l5 s1 mm -hmm. that left my left leg completely numb dropped foot yeah I could barely walk um so i've been through you know i've been through that myself which again was a blessing right mm -hmm. yeah didn't feel like it at the time but you know two three four years down the line i learned so much going through that experience that i could never learn in a classroom exactly yeah you know um so you know that that was definitely uh an opportunity for me to learn let's just say and that was that was more than just going through the experience in terms of learning there was a reason why my body decided to to give me a lesson at that point um, it's mainly around working too hard and working too long at hours. And my body was telling me you need to slow down and I wasn't listening. Yeah. So my body, so my body made me stop and take some rest for almost two years. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 That's but powerful. Even though, but even though that was a very serious injury, I'm back to, you know, hundred percent function. Yeah. You know, and, and there's a lot of people that I know, they, if they have that kind of injury, they think it's a one way street. It's just they're always going to be injured or mm -hmm. in pain. Yeah. But, you know, I'm sure you agree it doesn't doesn't have to be that way.